headlines of this edition. Celebrating the great National Solidarity Day, the 94th anniversary of the traditional day of the Vietnam National United Front. The conference to announce the decision on the establishment of the party committee of Thái Bình World. The online conference to encourage the development of rooftop solar power for safe production and safe consumption referred to as Degree 135 for short. Hello and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continues and Talk News today. On November 5th, the Front's Working Committee of Area No. 5, Jerome Lim World, Omo District, organized the Great National Solidarity Day, celebrated the 94th anniversary of the traditional day of the Vietnam National United Front, and preliminarily revealed the campaign The Whole People Unite to Build New Style Areas and Civilized City in 2024. Carrying out the campaign, the Front's Working Committee of Area No. 5 has focused on mobilizing people from all walks of life to promote economic and social development, maintain national defense and security, and build a strong political system. Prominently, it has mobilized people to develop production, transfer science and technology, support loans, and well implement social security policies. Up to now, the area has nearly 93% of households achieve in cultured family title with 187 examples of good people doing good deeds. On this occasion, 15 typical households were praised and rewarded. Ninka District Party Committee has just held a conference to announce the decision on the establishment of the Party Committee of Thái Bình World. This is a newly emerged world from four worlds of An Phú, An Nghiệp, An Cư, and Thái Bình, according to the resolution of the Standing Committee of the National Assembly. At a conference, delegates held the decisions on the establishment and appointment in 2020-2025 term. And currently, the executive committee of the party committee consists of 32 members. The standing committee of the party committee consists of five members. Member of the standing committee of the city party committee, also secretary of Ninke District Party Committee, Nguyễn Tinh Phong, handed over the decisions, gave flowers to congratulate the party committee of Thái Bình World, while directing the party committee to perform key tasks in a common time is follows. It's necessary to quickly stabilize the organizational apparatus, develop and promulgate working regulations, assign tasks to strive to complete the goals and targets set in 2020. 2024 and the whole time of 2020 2025. On November 4th afternoon, the Ministry of Industry and Trade held an online conference to implement the governmental decree number 135 2024, regulating mechanisms and policies to encourage the development of rooftop solar power for self production and self consumption, referred to as decree number 135 for short. Decree 135 of the government, which takes effect from October 22, 2024, includes four chapters and 26 articles. The direct electricity purchase and sale between organizations and individuals shall comply with the decree on the mechanism of direct electricity purchase and sale between renewable energy generated units and large electricity users. One of notable points of the decree is that self-produced and self-consumed rooftop solar power connected to the national electricity system of households and individuals' houses with a capacity of less than 100 kilowatt hour, if not used up, will be sold to the national power system, but not more than 20% of the actual installed capacity. Organizations and individuals are encouraged to decide on the installation of electricity storage systems to ensure the safe and stable operation of the electricity system. At a conference, delegates raised a number of questions and proposed to be explained and clarified a number of articles and clauses in Decree 135 to facilitate the implementation process. 
60% of traffic accidents related to motorcycles is the information shared by Major General Nguyễn Văn Trung, also Director of the Traffic Police Department at the International Conference entitled Motorcycle Traffic Safety Challenges and Lessons Launch, which took place on November 4th and 5th in Hanoi. In order to prevent motorcycles from causing traffic accidents, the traffic police force has focused on opening many peak periods to handle. However, the main thing is still that the awareness of motorcycle drivers to participate in traffic needs to be improved. In order to overcome the limitations in the management of motorcycles in the law on road traffic order and safety, the presiding agency has also proposed a number of new regulations strengthening propaganda and sanctioning traffic violations, especially the policy of developing public transportation, limiting personal transportation, prioritizing the conversion of fossil fuel-powered vehicles to vehicles using electricity, green energy environmentally friendly and clean energy supply infrastructure. The final of the contest, Good Grassroots Women's Union Employees of the People's Public Security Force in 2024 opened on the morning of November 5th in Kanto City. Attending the final rounds were more than 40 contestants from units under the Ministry of Public Security, Provincial and Municipal Public Securities in the North, Central and Southern regions. The contestants and teams go through three parts including the introduction contest, we talk about ourselves, the female public security in integration and development, and the aptitude test, brave and talented cadres, which focuses on promoting the foreign language of proficiency of contestants. The contestants participated in the spirit of striving worthy of being the descendants of Trung and Tru, imitating the example of female heroes and martyrs, accordingly testing their talents of forming their bravery, determination to strive and trying to achieve the good qualities of Vietnamese women in the new era. The Department of Education and Training of Kanto City has just coordinated with the Chamber of Education and Training of Founding Suburb District to organize the training on digital citizenship skills education, STEM education in mathematics in grade 5, school year 2024-2025 in the form of face-to-face -face and online from Mekhan Primary School No. 1 Founding District to primary schools in Kanto City. Delegates and teachers in charge of professional work, teachers of grade 5, and managers of primary schools at component locations in the city were allowed to watch the illustrated lesson, practice and experience with some units of measurement conducted by teacher of Mekhan Primary School 1. At the same time, they listened to orientations of teaching digital citizenship skills education, STEM education, and teaching mathematics in grade 5. Participants also discussed answered, shared experiences on thematic content and visited the STEM classroom at Mekhan Primary School No. 1. After five days, Vietnam International Agriculture Fair 2024 in Kanto City achieved sales of about 50 billion Vietnam dong. According to the organizing committee, the fair attracted 400 boots with more than 100 units from 20 provinces and cities in the country and four countries, Korea, Japan, China, Taiwan, and large-scale enterprises in the field of machinery, high-tech, agricultural equipment, fertilizers, pesticides, products serving the agricultural industry. After five days of operation, it attracted more than 50,000 visitors and transactions with sales of about 50 billion Vietnam dong. Statistically, there are 50 contracts signed on agricultural machinery, equipment and production lines, and 30 contracts on agricultural materials, pesticides, fertilizers, processed agricultural products, consumer goods and retail, which have contributed to promoting business and trade connection. This is a motivation for organizations and individuals to continue to participate in the fairs in the following years. 
recently, especially in the rainy and high tide season, the emergency department of Kanto Children's Hospital has received many cases of children being bitten by snakes, most of which are caused by red-tailed rattlesnake bites. Venom of red-tailed rattlesnakes can cause blood clotting disorders. Many cases of late arrival of blood clotting disorders can be fatal due to gastrointestinal bleeding and organ hemorrhage. Due to the shrinking habitat, the rainy and flooding season are the breeding season for snakes, so there is a risk that snakes can enter the shelter in the dark. People need to pay attention to preventive measures, take care of children carefully, wear high boots when going out to the garden. In addition, they should clear bushes around the house. If accidentally bitten by a snake, people need to give first aid properly. The updated weather forecast don't show up of this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, controltv.vn. And thanks for being with us. Goodbye, and see you next time.